Okay, so we are going to be taking a look at Cyberpunk 2077. I want to run it through all the different potential setting options because I think that the 2070 is going to quickly start becoming kind of a, uh, a go-to budget. It's not quite there yet. These cards still go for $150 to $200, but as you start seeing, <clears throat> and I am, uh, more and more $250 to $225 uh, 3070s, I think it's really going to tank the price of these cards fast. And I think um, I think that this is very soon going to become a, a go-to budget option, just as the 970 was back in the day. Although I don't feel like the 1070 ever really hit that mark, but I think this card just might. Um, so what we're looking at right now <clears throat> is... Um, oh, and uh, before I go there, I'm just going to warn you, this is not going to be a quick eight minute video. This is probably going to be a 30 or so minute video. Uh, maybe I'll break it down and do individuals as well, but um, this is going to be a complete look at the different settings running on this game. So uh, to get started with, we are running, believe it or not, this is actually Cyberpunk at base settings, which I firmly believe that even if... It, it, even if you have two video cards running the same level, let's say you've got a 2070 and, say, a 1060, <clears throat> even if the, they can both hit the same frame rate at the setting level because it's low, uh, the higher-end cards do look better at the higher setting levels. At least that's my opinion. You might think differently that a setting is a setting is a setting, <clears throat> but I think this, this actually looks pretty good. Uh, it's totally playable, um, and it doesn't compromise the experience at all, in my opinion. Um, so let's turn it up. So let's take a look at... <clears throat> and we do have all the upscaling turned off. It's base everything, no upscaling. So let's take a look next at medium. Just straight medium. Um, da -da 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 -da. And I had all of this turned all the way off at that at that low, because low doesn't actually turn everything off. Motion blur. Okay, so let's see what the difference is. Now, personally, I don't see a lot of quality difference here. I do see the difference in frame rate. Um, but I don't see a lot of visual quality gain. Maybe I'm just not that picky of a person. Um, but let's take a look at adding DLSS. <clears throat> so let's turn... Okay, let's turn the DLSS on. Let's run it at the quality setting. And let's leave it at the... Well, let's see here. Okay, medium, DLSS, okay, yeah, that's what I wanted, and then we want the quality setting. Okay, so there is basically no degradation here. Um, but we're, we're back to that, um, that... 55 or so playable frame rate, which my opinion on Cyberpunk is that if you can hold the frame rate solid, like you will see on a system like this, uh, you're fine as low as like mid-30s. <clears throat> okay, so let's... Let's take a look at high setting. Let's leave our DLSS at quality. Okay, so let's take a look at what we've got now. So, <clears throat> <clears throat> uh, 
It looks like this is probably the happy medium ground. So high settings, DLSS quality, um, and it looks like we're hitting around 50-ish FPS. Uh, if you're running on a newer, faster processor, you might hit a little bit higher. Uh, the only way I would see that being a realistic scenario, though, is somebody who's got, say, like a 12700K and their newer video card breaks and they have to send it in and they're, they're stuck using this for a while. Or a situation where you buy a pre-owned system and somebody just throws whatever spare card they have on hand in it and this is what they... This is what they put in it. Normally, I'm not going to see, I'm not going to expect to see somebody go out and buy a 12700K to pair with a, a 2070, though. So I don't think that's a really realistic scenario. Um, I think this is a very realistic scenario. Um, <clears throat> you will see frame rate drop when you're driving through the city at high speed. It's just, it's drawing all of this stuff and it just, it does what it does. Um, you'll see once you get off the bike, you immediately see, well, I guess it didn't help it much, but you will see it does definitely run at varying amounts of higher frame rate. Um, so let's take a look next, uh, for the frame rate junkies. Now I've always assumed that the place where you're going to see the degradation on DLSS is stuff like these reflections and stuff. Things like that. So let's do this. Let's turn on... Let's go from quality to balanced. Not that high just for... Okay. Okay, so now we're up to north of 60. Now, my opinion is that I don't see a lot of quality loss at this level. Um, you may feel differently about that. This is the reason why, if you watched my comments on the video where people were trying to tell me I was misleading and, and putting out fake resolution and stuff, this is why I disagree with that. I just I believe that the, the 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 delivered experience is close enough to what it should be. I think it's I think it's the same, but I know there's that one person that's going to have that nitpicky thing that they can see, and they're going to say, "Oh, see, you're wrong." But my opinion is the quality is close to is is close enough to native that I I don't <clears throat> I don't believe it's arguable that we're not running at at 4K merely because it's upscaling something to 4K. Now, that's my opinion. You can feel differently about that, but that's my opinion on the matter. Um, so let's take a look. Let's go one step deeper. So let's take a look at... Let's just go all the way. Let's do DLSS Ultra Performance. And let's see what we get. Okay, so now you can clearly see degradation. It's not horrific. It's nowhere near what I would expect to see off of uh, FSR with FSR at its higher levels. So let me show you FSR at a high level. Um, okay, let's do this. Let's do... FSR at, let's just do performance. You know what? Actually, that's not bad. Okay, so FSR does a little bit differently, though. FSR, you see a little bit more, like, boring in the difference, in, in the distance. That's actually better than I expected, though, to be honest. Although it has been said that the higher the resolution that you're actually running at, the less of a, of a, of a difference it is. Let's do this. So let's look at, let's go back to DLSS. Let's do DLSS performance. Okay, so I'm going to say DLSS performance 
versus ultra performance is where you start to see real <clears throat> tangible losses in, in visual quality. So let's take a look at <clears throat> I don't know why it did that. Okay, let's take a look at um, uh, running at the ultra setting. Standard non-ray traced ultra. I don't know why it defaults to FSR. It should be able to see that. It can clearly see that DLSS is an option, so I don't know why it defaults to FSR. <clears throat> okay. Um, so let's do performance, ultra, motion blur off. I hate film grain. So we are at the highest... Well, I th oh, no, there's a couple things. Okay, that... Okay, so we're maxed out. And we're running at 3840, 1600. Okay, so. I'm going to betcha where you look at that line right there, I'm gonna bet you that's a visible difference if you go with a lower level of DLSS. So let's do this, let's do quality. Okay, oh, no, not really. Yeah, not really. Let's turn it off and see. It's gonna tank the frame rate, but... No, it's, it's really not much better. Uh, that's interesting. See, this is the thing. If somebody who's used to playing games <clears throat> has to squint and look real close and have two pictures side by side to measure to maybe notice a tiny difference, I, 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 say, I, I say get out of here with your claims that, that it's not as good as native. And I've also seen some stuff that's, that suggests that it's actually better than native as well, in some cases. So there's just there's so many arguments here. Um, okay, let's do this. Let's turn back on DLSS. Let's turn back on balanced. We're going to go with our totally maxed out settings. No motion blur, no film grain. Let's see what we get here. Okay, so I think that this balanced setting is is probably the way to go because I'm just I'm not seeing the visual degradation, in my opinion, necessary to justify um, to justify turning the settings down. Now you could do if you're really picky about your um, your uh, uh, frame rate. Let's see, did that really make a difference? I think that might have actually. Let's go back. Okay, yeah, I think I can see a little bit of a difference with that. It's not bad going from uh, balanced to performance, but I'm gonna say so. Let's drop one more. Okay, um, let's do this. Let's do high settings, balanced, oops, dang it, keeps going to that. Okay, balanced, da, da, da. let's see here, ray tracing off. Okay, that off. Film grain off. Okay, so we're at high settings. Okay, so I I think right here is your best uh, midpoint for this. Um, so running at thirty eight forty sixteen hundred. 
Um, now, I, if you go, if you go up to, if you're running on an actual uh, 38, 40, 21, 60, my guess is that you're still going to be at playable frame rate, but it's going to be back down to those, uh, like those, those mid to high 40s. But it'll probably still be smooth and playable, and at, at approximately this uh, quality level. I just, I don't have an actual 4K gaming monitor, so. The only way I can do it is to output into my capture card and then play off of the capture window, which I don't really like doing. Of course, then I get the people that are like, oh, you're not really on a real 4K monitor. I'm like, oh my God. Okay, so I hope you guys kind of found this. Oh, and one more thing we'll look at last. Just for the people that ask. Um... I'm going to say leave ray tracing off, but we'll turn it on just for the heck of it at a low level. So well, that's interesting. You know, you could do that on this. Um, <clears throat> let's just see. It's going to tank. Yeah, see that? It, there's no point in running it with with um, ray tracing on, not not on anything less than probably like it'd probably be playable on a 3070 at these settings approximately. Like it has a little bit of cool additional reflections and stuff, but I I really wouldn't bother. You're you're going to be better off leaving the uh, the ray tracing off. Yeah, this really is a happy medium. You're getting you're getting a playable frame rate. It's barely using any video RAM either. That's actually pretty interesting too. Um, but you're getting a, a a playable frame rate. You're getting absolutely gorgeous graphics. I I I, I this is where I would play it uh, on either 3840 1600 um, <clears throat> or uh, 34 anything lower. So 3440. Uh, 1440, um, 1440, 2560, 1440. This is, these are the settings I would use. Um, so I hope you guys find this interesting and, uh, I hope it answers some questions for you as far as what the, uh, what the, what the settings that you probably want to run at are. Thanks for watching the video.